Trouble, trouble. Four. Three. Gotta get it all filmed, son. Oh, Omega. What's up? Good morning, and today is the 14th of November yep and it is a good day I will tell you this weekend I got a call from Gunnies in Orem Utah <clears throat> telling me that my tax stamp was approved and sent to them the downside is they called me after hours Saturday night. They called me after hours on a Saturday night. And so I couldn't go pick it up. And they're not open Sunday. So I kind of had to get over, man. <clears throat> so they called me after hours on a Saturday night. I couldn't go pick it up. They're not open on Sundays. That sucks. So I had to wait an extra day to get my suppressor. But my tax stamp is finally here! Yeah! I was so excited. So today I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna do a little unboxing for y'all because I've been waiting and I'm curious. I mean, I saw what's in the box already when I went to buy it and purchase it. I'm gonna do a little unboxing and it should be good. I am getting a Silencer Co. Omega. It's a 30 caliber can. I will mostly be using it on a 223 or 556 on my AR. I'm gonna get my barrel threaded on my bolt action so that I can switch it over to the bolt action when I need it because I really love using my bolt action when I'm out hunting coyotes, plain and simple. I also love using my AR and that's what I'll probably have to put it on first because that already has the barrel threaded naturally. I've got a Browning X-Bolt 223. It's a Browning medallion and it's pimping. I love it. It has a Vortex Viper on it. Both of my guns have Vortex. I love Vortex. I'm heading into work and I will work for an hour or two and then I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go grab it and it's gonna be sweet. I'm so excited. Gotta get it all filled, son. I'm so stoked about this, and I thought I would do an unboxing for everybody to see how things are put together inside, what it comes with, get a little more in detail with it. I'll give you a look at what the packaging looks like. We've got a nice silencer coat emblem on the front. Um, pretty awesome. And each side, Omega. And this one is pretty cool. I like this. They uh, basically took and showed everybody what the baffles look like on the inside. I haven't taken this apart yet. Um, I've opened it up, looked at it, shown a few people. So, Silencer Co. Mega, 30 caliber can. It's, uh, please read your manual before using this product. If it was something this important, I would always read the manual. Always, always read the manual. Because this is an expensive piece of equipment and you do not want to mess it up. So, inside, first of all, there's a little card. And everything laid out nice and perfect. Um, muzzle brake quick detach attach mount and then of course the suppressor um, it is beautiful uh, this card let's see what it says we have register your Omega and we'll send you a free spec war 762 ASR flash hider uh, that's awesome 
for Silencer Co. to do that, that is way cool. Uh, it comes with one, they'll send one for free. I'm assuming that they do this not only because they're an awesome company, but because in my case, this uh, muzzle brake is actually for a 30 caliber rifle. It's the 5 eighths and my 556223 five, rifles need to be a one half. I'm guessing that's part of it, but that is really cool. I'll give you guys a look at what this is. Let's just take everything out here. So we've got the suppressor. Here's the can. Uh, it's just about seven inches long. Uh, um, and here's that for everybody to see. Design is beautiful, flawless. I chose this can because not only is it full auto rated and very, very durable, but it looks beautiful, everything about it, uh, from the tip to the back end. So I'm so excited to use it. Silencer Co. Omega Field Manual. For you guys to see there. Uh, this is basically everything you need to know. Again, a nice little diagram of the suppressor on there with the baffles. And here are the tools. It comes in a nice drawstring bag. That's really cool. A little silencer called emblem on there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but wicked awesome. It comes with a, I want to say this is kind of like a, it's not a torque wrench, but it helps you get the grip on the silencer as you try to tighten things. You'll see these little grooves here. They're all the way around. And this basically just attaches to them. Now, this guy right here is very helpful. You'll see a bunch of different sizes here. And this particular tool that is very useful. See these little things right here? And the three prong tool here. Basically you just line those puppies up on that. Give it a twist. And it's loose. Pretty cool. Um, I want to talk about these these mouths here and this this muzzle brake. It's ASR muzzle brake. So it's got three cutouts there. Oh Omega. I wanted to go over real quickly for those of you who are wondering or who have may have questions about the ASR mount and the suppressor. We have this ASR mount and it is ready to be applied in here. It's ready to go, be locked, and you'll see these two little things here. They're like basically the teeth that hold in place. Um, when you lock, they clamp down like this. When you want to take it out, just go ahead and unlock it. Screw right off, and it's ready for a mount on another rifle. I probably will buy one to two more of these and put one on each of my rifles so that I can quickly detach, throw it on another rifle if I'm out on a hunt. I do a lot of coyote hunting and so it would be nice to decide which rifle I need if I'm shooting back up with my AR or I'm shooting with my bolt action browning. Take it, put it right onto my other rifle, lock it on and pack it out. So that's just one of those things that is super awesome about the silencer and I'm so excited. If anybody has any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more. I'm going to be a, doing a first shot video on this and I'm also going to be probably doing some hunting videos. Make sure to check out Silencer Co. I do love the brand and I love the design. So go check them out and if you're looking at a suppressor, this one took me seven months. That's a long time. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's people who have waited longer but it took me seven months waiting time for my tax stamp and it finally came. Hit that subscribe so you can see more.